professor um, he he was the most humble guy i know he worked yeah. a, he went to iit and that was not enough he went to mit and then he decided that he wanted to go to uh, he wanted to be a professor in chemical engineering and and so one day he told me that uh, fine tumare jokhoni ami office e hours e kotha boli tomar kajer mane amar amar course niye tumi sob shomoy business er bapare kotha bolo and then that went on for over a year until he told me he's like why don't you just give business a shot ji amar full byabsha details gulo ami hocche je ekta software company ke diye dicchi thik ache je bhai amar jinish ta ke automate kore den ekhon ami jodi take trust i na korte pari tar trust kemne korbo ami tar samne thak she jodi amar samne thake ami jate tar office e jete pari tar sathe ektu cha khete pari tale ami take trust korbo take ami ami ke byabsha dibo ग्लोबल मार्केटे बेचारे कतुनिटी देखें फाहिम सालम भाई आलाप आलोचना कर reality on the ground amra aajke shunbo asha korchi you will enjoy it beshi kotha barabo na just dui ta jinish business group onek jon join kore felechen onek jon but thank you for waiting amra finally group ta chalu korbo if you haven't joined please join amra ekhane ek kothay business niye nerd out korbo business niye kotha bolbo so join the group bidiyoto audio only experience hoye chan video niye shark kotha na bolte chaile google podcast spotify shei jinish gulo kintu available ache just check it out third and last if you haven't already please consider liking subscribing and sharing this video with a friend linkedin e share kore amake support korte paren keno because it helps reach more people ebong ami asha korchi hearing from the source ek the actual founder theke shune apnader onek value add hocche life e jodi mone koren tahole amake support korte paren by subscribing to this show i can't check but i hope apnara subscribe kore let's get started Fine, bhai. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Only thing that I did was watch film. And recently, I watched TikTok adventures. I thought, "Hey, problem is now is the time because you are also into content creation, and this is uh, long overdue." So, I mean, I want to say, "Could you please introduce yourself for the audience, and yep. we can take it from there?" Thank you, thank you for um, seeing your journey. It was amazing, and uh, I've been following you on YouTube for a while now. So, <laughs> um, so yeah. So, my name is Fahim. Um, Ideally, I address myself as an entrepreneur. Um, currently, I'm the CEO of a company called Newport. Um, Newport ki kore shita hote je. I'm a backend technology banai for manufacturers, distributors, mm-hmm. our e-commerce brands. I'm a shuru kore chilam. I'm a the journey ta hote je just logistics thi, and then we kind of evolved and we learned so much about it. And then I'm a gusta valam je Bangladesh. It's an evolving country with evolving needs of the customers. So that's when we started Newport. Okay, okay. And Newport, one line or quick line. What does it do? What is it? It's a cloud supply chain platform for distribution and e-commerce brands. That means that if you have a distribution company, a e-commerce company, a f-commerce company, that means that you have a Facebook page, or that you have a Shopify or WooCommerce store, that is online, just a page. But if you start to scale, it will be very difficult to scale the back-end tools. The back-end tools means that you have a back-end tools, a back-end tools means that you have a integrated order management, warehousing, inventory, and you have a shipping software. So if you scale the back-end tools, you have a back-end tools. वो ही जिनिस टा हमरा प्रोवाइड करी। Very interesting. So एक तो एग्जांपल देते बार बन। So एक तो क्लोथिंग स्टोर शुरू कर लो एवं लेट्स से क्विकली ग्रो कर लो। अच्छा। ग्रो कर पड़े उधर लेट्स से ऑन एक इन्वेंटरी होए गए से एक मैनेज कर डिफिकल्ट। तो अपन अपना सॉफ्टवेयर दिए उरा इन्वेंटरी मैनेजमेंट Logistics, delivery, ये जिनिश गुलो manage कर बे रुको मतलब आप अच्छा so एक है ना just एक तो journey तो दी हाँ so अमी अमी for example एक ता एक ता dry food जर company खुलता आती अच्छा so एक आंतक है अमार provision होता जाए एक ता Facebook page अमी Facebook page खुल लाम अमी किचु advertising कोल लाम Facebook ads दिलाम अच्छा तो खुना अमार traction एक तो बाढ़ लो okay fine तार पड़े अच्छा जाए अमी बोल लाम जाए इटा तो actually scale होच्छ ना करना हमारे बार बार order टावर entry कोत्ते होच्छ कोनो एक्सेल शीटे हिसाब रखते होच्छ 
তো তখন আমি একটা উ কমার্সের বা শপিফায়ের একটা পেজ খুললাম দিয়ে ওই পেজটাতে লিঙ্ক করে আমি ফেসবুকটা দিয়ে পেজের মধ্যে থেকে অর্ডার আসা শুরু হলো আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে তো পেজ পেজ এখন গেল এখন আমার ফর এক্সাম্পল আমার দিনে অর্ডার বিশ থেকে পঞ্চাশটা অর্ডার বাট দেন তারপরে হচ্ছে যে ইস্যুটা দাঁড়ায় যে আমাদের এখন অর্ডার্স বেড়ে যাচ্ছে পাঁচশোটা কিন্তু আমার ফেসবুক থেকে অর্ডার আসছে আমার হটলাইন থেকে অর্ডার আসছে আমার ওয়েবসাইট থেকে অর্ডার আসছে এই জিনিসগুলো আমার তিনটা ডিফারেন্ট টিম ম্যানেজ করে আর কি তো তিনটা ডিফারেন্ট টিমকে আমরা কিভাবে একসাথে নিয়ে আসতে পারি কারণ ইনভেন্টরি কিন্তু সেম আমি কিন্তু যেসব মাল বেচতেছি ওই মালগুলো কিন্তু এক জায়গায় তো ইস্যুটা দাঁড়ায় যে ফেসবুকের অর্ডারগুলো যখন শেষ করে নেই সাথে সাথে তখন তারা বলছে যে অনলাইনের অর্ডারগুলো দেওয়ার মতন আমার ক্ষমতা নেই সো তার এটা এই একটা চ্যালেঞ্জ গেল তারপরে যখন সে পাঁচশো থেকে আর একটু এক হাজারটা অর্ডার পার ডেতে চলে যায় তখন তার চাহিদাটা অনেক ডিফারেন্ট হয়ে যায় তো তখন কি হয় তখন তারা কুরিয়ার প্ল্যাটফর্মে তারা পাঠাও স্টেট ফার্স্ট রেডেক্স এইসব প্ল্যাটফর্মের জন্য আলাদা টিম থাকে যে তারা এইসব অর্ডারগুলোকে নিয়ে আবার এক্সেলে তুলে আবার রি আপলোড করে বা ওখানে আবার আপলোড করতে হয় সো এই জিনিসটা কিভাবে আমরা ইন্টিগ্রেট করতে পারি একটা সেম প্ল্যাটফর্মে যাতে তাদের ভিন্ন টিম যাতে না হয় তারপরে তাদের কল সেন্টার আছে এখন কল সেন্টারের চাহিদাটা হচ্ছে যে কল সেন্টারের ইস্যুটা হচ্ছে যে তারা তিনটা তিনটা ডিফারেন্ট কাজ করে কাস্টমার কল করে তিনটা কারণে সেটা হচ্ছে যে আমা আপনার ব্যাপারে জানলাম ভাইয়া আমি আপনার প্রোডাক্টটা কিনতে চাচ্ছি বা প্রোডাক্টের ব্যাপারে আমি একটু আরেকটু জানতে চাচ্ছি তো ওই জানার মতন কল সেন্টার স্টাফ মেম্বার সে হচ্ছে যে প্রোডাক্ট জানার প্রোডাক্ট ইনফরমেশান একটা সিটে রেখে দেয় তারপরে কাস্টমার ডিটেলস আরেকটা সিটে রেখে দেয় তো ওই কলের মাঝখানে সে মাল্টিপল এক্সেল শিটে তাকে ফাম্বল করতে হয় এই জিনিসটা তো এটা খুবই স্লো করে দেয় তাদের ট্রানজাকশানটা অ্যান্ড অ্যাট দ্যাট পয়েন্ট উই রিয়েলাইজ দ্যাট আমরা যদি কল সেন্টারের সাথে একটা ইন্টিগ্রেশন করে দিই একটা এপিআই থ্রুতে তাহলে কল উঠানোর আগে হটলাইনে যা যে কল করছে যে যে এজেন্ট ফ্রি আছে তার তার প্ল্যাটফর্মের মধ্যে মানে নিউপোর্ট প্ল্যাটফর্মের মধ্যে ওই কাস্টমারের ফোন নাম্বারটা এসে যাবে আর ফুল ডিটেলসটা পুল আউট করবে উইদাউট হেম ট্রাইং টু ওর হার ট্রাইং টু লুক ফর ডিটেলস সো দ্যাটস হাউ ইউ অলসো এনেবল দ্যাম টু স্কেল এজ ওয়াল সো এটাই হচ্ছে যে আমাদের সিস্টেমটা পুরোটা করেছে তারপরে আরেকটু পরে হচ্ছে যে তাদের তাদের বারকোডিং সিস্টেম লাগবে কারণ তাদের ইনভেন্টরি এখন ট্র্যাক করা লাগতেছে তো ইনভেন্টরি ট্র্যাকিং আমি কীভাবে করবো তখন আমরা বারকোডিং সিস্টেমটা ইমপ্লিমেন্ট করে দিই তো তাহলে এসেন্সিয়ালি উইথ ওয়ান প্ল্যাটফর্ম ইউর এবল টু গো ফ্রম টোয়েন্টি অর্ডার্স এ ডে আপ টিল হান্ড্রেড টু ফাইভ হান্ড্রেড টু থাউজেন্ড অর্ডার্স উইদাউট রিলি হ্যাভিং টু সুইচ মানে আরও ডিফারেন্ট সফটওয়্যার ভেন্ডার্স সো এখান থেকে আপনি এতগুলো জিনিস বল মানে আমার আপনি যখন কথা বলছিলেন আমার অনেকগুলো জিনিস মাথায় আসলো যে এই এই ডিরেকশানে নেওয়া যায় ওই জিনিসটা জিজ্ঞেস করা উচিত বাট আমি একটা জায়গা থেকে শুরু করতে চাই সেটা হচ্ছে আপনি যে স্পেসটাতে কাজ করছেন এটাকে আই থিঙ্ক বি টু বি স্যাস বলা যায় জি রাইট বিজনেসদের জন্য সফটওয়্যার এজ আ সার্ভিস এবং এটা বাংলাদেশি কাস্টমারসদের জন্য করছেন আই নো কারেক্ট মিউ ওয়ার এম রং আমি কিছু বলি আপনার আমাকে হেল্প করতে হবে এই স্পেসটা সম্পর্কে আমরা জানতে চাই সো নাম্বার ওয়ান বি টু বি স্যাসের সম্ভাবনা কীরকম আর কাস্টমারস উইলিং টু পে ফর বি টু বি স্যাস ইন বাংলাদেশ এটা একটা বড় টপিক বিকজ আমার মনে হয় বিকজ অনেকজন হয়তো বলেছে যে না আমাদের মার্কেটটা এখনও ইমেচিওর মানুষজন এখনও পে করতে রাজি না চায় না বা সফটওয়্যারের ভ্যালিউটা ওদের বিজনেসে এই জিনিসটা বুঝে না আপনার এক্সপিরিয়েন্স কী সো ফার আমার এক্সপিরিয়েন্স ছিল যে আমরা সফটওয়্যার জগতে অনেক আগের থেকেই প্ল্যান টু করেছিলাম কিন্তু আমরা বুঝতে পারছি যে দুই হাজার পনেরো ষোলো সালে ইট ওয়াজ টু আর্লি স্টেজ তখন বুঝার ক্ষমতাটা ছিল না বাট মেবি আমি তখন চিন্তা করলাম যে মেবি আমরা বুঝাইতে পারি নাই ভালো ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দিয়ে বা ভালো এক্সাম্পল দিয়ে সো স্যাসের কনসেপ্টটা কিন্তু অনেক পুরনো যেটা আই আই সে দিস অল দ্য টাইম দ্যাট দ্যাট পিপল হ্যাভ বিন পেয়িং ফর ইন্টারনেট সার্ভিস আমি ইলেকট্রিসিটি পে করছি আমি হচ্ছে যে আমার কেবল টিভি পে করছি এখন আগে কেবল টিভি পে করতাম এখন আমরা নেটফ্লিক্সে পে করি বা দ্যাটস অল স্যাস বাট এই জিনিসটা যে ইট হ্যাজ ট্রিকল ডাউন ফ্রম মেনি ডিফারেন্ট ডেকেজ বাট পিপল ডোন্ট রিয়েলাইজ ইট আর স্যাস মানেই হচ্ছে যে খালি সফটওয়্যারের জন্য পে করি এটা না জাস্ট আমি একটা সার্ভিসের জন্য আমার মান্থলি একটা খরচ আছে বা সেটাই সো এই মেসেজটা আসতে একটু দেরি হয়েছে আর কি এবং আই থিঙ্ক উই অ্যাজ ফাউন্ডার্স হ্যাভ নট ডান আ গুড জব ইনাফ টু কনভে দিস মেসেজ কিন্তু এখন হচ্ছে যে ইট কামস ডাউন টু দ্য কাস্টমারস অ্যাজ ওয়েল দ্যাট দে ভ্যালিউ আউটকাম মোর দ্যান এনিথিং এলস আচ্ছা ভাই আমার আজকে আমার আজকে দুইশোটা অর্ডার এটা আমি এখন ভলিউম আছে যে আমার বেড়ে যাচ্ছে আমার পাঁচশোটা অর্ডার মানে ডবলের
So uh, I want uh, I picked up on something which is customers care about the outcome, yeah. not the means. Mane no. hote it is software ho, but normal ek service yeah. ho. I want to actually answer that na. Yeah. Amar actually benefit jeta. Yeah. Jamo webshay ke boro hoyte har to help korte or to ba ami TV dekte barte si karon yeah. cable. So we outcome tani ami beshi uh, chinti to. ट्रांजेक्शनल normal services so okay. normal services je rokom amader jogote new port hocche je normal services dicchi amra amra ekhono platform dike agai nei but platform e jodi example dei mm-hmm. patao is a platform food panda is a platform right so they charge platform fees to tokhon ami jokhon ami jokhon order korchi amar platform fees 2 taka 3 taka one niche lekha thake so it, you paid as a platform but when it comes to uh, mane b2b saas in general bangladesh e i think the opportunities are four so one is and you, you should always think about utility services je at the business ke because bangladesh it's largely it's a very very import export heavy country it's a very distribution heavy country there's a lot of manufacturing happening so okhane amar accounting software lagbe amar lokjon onek ache amar hr software lagbe amar kena becha korchi amar supply chain software lagbe ar amar jonno call center employee ache call center staff ache so ekhane amar call center management software ei jinish gulo ache je i i consider them like uh, basically utility services and if we do utility services really well we can set up an infrastructure for b2b saas that is north of 100 million dollars in revenue per year ha yeah. uh ekhane i would like to back up with some numbers uh, and these are numbers that you can find online uh in mm-hmm. terms of say for example call center employees right call center employees there's about um as per the article that i was reaching uh, uh, i i read a few days ago mm-hmm. there's about 60,000 employees uh, call center agents and if you charge them just uh, say shorbonimno bhabe 500 taka then it's a big enough number ha it's not uh, like the market itself is not super big when you comparing to globally but within bangladesh mm. i think it's a sizable number then there is uh, there is hr software right because people are uh, they are hiring employees they're doing payrolls now it just becomes so much easy not to hire people to do that and software is already there so a kind of hr software is a big means then i'll i'll give some numbers in terms of my own industry mm. there's about 50000 d2c brands in bangladesh ha yeah. mane direct to consumer direct to consumer ami ki usually facebook but digital kono medium e consumer theke reach korte chai ha so ekhane hocche je ami hoyto amar ekta daraj page er moddhe ami sell korchi ba amar ekta website ache ba amar facebook majority of them are very active on facebook facebook e message korche ad dicche ar tar pore tara kena becha shuru korche 50000 business is a very large number and and the industry itself is about 8 billion dollars so okhane um if you charge say shorbonimno bhabe jodi ami ekta ekta brand ke just 5000 taka per month is ie kori times 50000 that itself becomes a very large large number right um and then there is uh, there is call center employees and then there is uh, which one did i say um uh, HR, hr call center or um, i think supply chain supply chain bolechilen ar ki um hr so call center employee um hr supply chain accounting systems accounting right accounting system so <laughs> accounting system is the basic mane kena bacha korar jonno and and again you need to have that mindset that acha thik ache amader amar dada ekta byabshay chilo byapari chilo amar abba ekjon byapari hoye ekhon industrialist hoyse amake etake reach korte hobe for the masses do i have the tools amar kache oi tools gulo ache naki ami eta scale korar jonno so jokhon ami ei jinish gulo mane chinta kori tokhon amar kache mone hocche je na ami ekhon basic kichu amake infrastructure banate hobe na but what else is out there which can help me scale this industry because i've already my my parents and my traditional my my generational people have already scaled it to an extent amake eta i have to go 10x mane infrastructure banai dise but now i have to really scale it so i think that approach will give you uh, the mindset that as a tech as there are opportunities out there and founders need to capitalize on this because most of the industries and even my family they they've done businesses my grandfather was a businessman and how do i how do i really um uh, basically continue this legacy right and that will only happen when i have power of information in my hand 
and I have power of some tools that are really effective in scaling my operations. Um, I, I just want to ask because uh, you mentioned it and I mean it with a pointy. Uh, what kind of business was your uh, family in, involved with? Uh, my grandfather was in textiles, classic, right? That's, that's um, awesome. A long time ago, and then then he got into um, real estate, and and then my 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 own immediate parents they never got into uh, industries at all. They just were bankers, that's classic awesome. bankers, and then and then I was not in a I was not raised in a business kind of a family. That's it was awesome. very working class. Very traditional working class, uh, nine to five jobs, yeah. and and uh, and somehow or the other, ekta poka ashigese, ekta you know that you know you need to do business, and at that point we were like, um, and I had to take some actions mm. to kind of pursue this, and I realized I enjoy it, I really yeah. really enjoy it. So um, because we can come back to the B two B SaaS space, but I just want to ask. Uh, you spent onik apni onik shumai baire katiye chen. Mane Canada, I think, borashona korte diye chile. No, toba I I am actually not sure. Yeah. Would love to understand where you spent your childhood, formative years, and uh, you know how how it has kind of shaped you to be on the journey you are on today. Um. So I I was born in Bangladesh. Yeah. Bangladesh e John Mohe chhe. Amar boys jokhon I think art bochor. Tokhon amra Middle East move kori. My dad got a job, and and then my mom also got a job there. So Middle East day was my earliest days. Teaching? Uh, no, in in banks. banks. They were both in banks. Access. So uh, they both the bank workers, and and so when I was like from eight until I was twenty, like twelve years, I spent in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. I grew up in Sharjah first, and then we moved to Abu Dhabi when I was I think twelve. That's and uh, and um, I was like, okay, Canada is a, is a great option, um, and we just we just decided on Canada. And also, I got a I got a uh, I applied to UK and Canada. For some reason, I got a better scholarship in Canada in my first year, That's right. which is why it was just it made all the more sense. Yeah. Um, so uh, it looks like you studied chemical and biological engineering yeah. from UBC. Yeah. Um, any reason for like chemical engineering? Kono uh, inclination Very traditional. Achha, Very achha. traditional. Which is, I grew up in Middle East. Ha. I thought I was gonna come back to the Middle East, and Middle ah. East has a lot of oil, and I would probably work in an oil company. Tokhon achha je erakum chinta chilo na je onak kichu vision chilo na. Tokhon achha just kuch classic ekta jinish je Dubai arsi. মানে <laughs> Uh, wow, that's a that's a loaded question. But but basically, well, feel free to download it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the the thing is, uh, 2014 time ashe to toh kono amader ekta oj je poka bollam na je poka ta ashe je acha thik ashe amader ekhon ekta bapsha shuru korte hobe. And that's literally w- what you should not do <laughs> when starting a business. And we did everything you're so not supposed to do, but that kind of got us, uh, you know, started. got us started, I guess. Um, so and uh, mm-hmm. sorry for interrupting you. Yeah. Pokata ni jodi bolen like mm-hmm. what uh, sparked the that curiosity or that uh, initial flame? Je na me actually I want to give the entrepreneurship a shot. I'll I'll be very honest with you. Je joto gula, I mean I was always a very good student. That's huh? in high school, uh, but. Canada the day for some reason my effort was never um diluted like i was always the 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 acta class of miss day nai shok shomoy khatsi but my results were not as great as i wanted it to be i was always top 2 kids in high school and then it was actually my professor is like my professor um he he was the most humble guy i know he worked he, he went to iit and that was not enough he went to mit and then he decided that he wanted to go to uh, he wanted to be a professor in chemical engineering and and so one day he told me that uh fine tumare jokhon ami office hours e kotha boli tomar kajer mane amar amar course niye tumi shob shomoy business er byapare kotha bolo 
uh, and then that went on for over a year until he told me he's like why don't you just give business a shot mm. and and I was like um, I, I actually didn't know like I was yeah. like no I'm trying to be an engineer and Right. Um, but then he was like just try just just because you always think about it like the thing about you is that uh, you're putting in so much effort with engineering and your grades are not as great as what you wanted it to be why don't you put something that and and whatever you're thinking you're thinking about business and you're 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 putting in so much effort into business likely you're going to outlast as a businessman rather than outlast as an engineer because you can always get a job as an engineer um, and that really got me thinking like such a you know like such a guy who's so well established giving me you know calling me to his office and giving me this kind of advice not to pursue his 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 line of work right yeah. um, that actually got me thinking and then i called up a bunch of friends and we were like we're gonna, i want to i want to try something in business and and we tried uh, the most uh, non lucrative business which was a cloud kitchen back in 2014 and like we were in vancouver there's legal restrictions around it mm. um, there kono vc investment chilo na ami jibone kono taka uthai nai ba kono byabsha kori nai at least on a, on a on a more traditional sense um, it was uh, basically je amar kono experience chilo na so we did everything wrong we created a problem that didn't exist and then I tried to build a solution around a problem that doesn't exist. And then we were like, I was working part time as well. And then after graduation, I worked full time as well. All those salaries were going into this whole venture that has no merit, really. Mm-hmm. And I learned everything I, uh, I was supposed to not to like basically what not to do during a business and then to survive that i started doing trading mane china india bangladesh theke mal kintam ar ki mane random stuff like posters shoes blankets ha habi jabi electronics and i would sell directly to like craigslist kijiji mane big roy for canada ar ki je gulo ha so okhan theke mane becha kenar pore dekhte si je no one really cared about my actual business which was the cloud kitchen and everyone is like fine amar mal kobe pouchaba kohon koto dam habi jabe eso and i was like i was like everyone just cares about this and no one and then i didn't have good answers because i'm calling i'm i'm sourcing things from abroad right and uh, they would always call me you know when is the item uh, arriving like when can i accept it is the quality going to be good and each of jinish answer korar jonno amar kache capacity chilo na and i didn't have the tools or the mechanism or the people and uh, and that was a very daunting problem in itself i was like everyone cares about this problem and no one's solving this and i actually ended up using uh, a company called flexport hmm. which was uh, which is a freight forwarding company they made some headlines back then because they were raising so much money as a technology enabled freight forwarding company so tar pore dekhi tara jokhon bangladesh theke mal source kore niye asche tader kache onek kichu answer chilo na and then we kind of came across this whole problem that that freight forwarding or logistics is is the future je ekhane eto kichu is missing and at that point uh, we kind of decided and and I, uh, rajiv was my roommate back then and then i'd already worked with chris and we kind of got together to build our previous venture which was loop so um, three, two or three questions follow up number one uh, for those listening i think uh, flexport is worth mentioning flexport yc or y combinator backed company yep. raised billions of dollars yeah and uh, they also put a, a small check through i think some platform um, but long story short, Flexport is invested in your new venture, Newport. But we'll get to that. Uh, my first question is uh, around Bangladesh. Yeah. Jay, Canada based Chilean. Yes, two of you are Bangladeshi. Yep. One of your friend was Canadian, Chris. Uh, uh, why did you decide, Jay, we want to solve something for Bangladesh rather than, oh, here's where we are and here's what we are doing? It's a, it's a question that I ask myself, but the reason <laughs> <laughs> all the time, but the reason was that. Uh, it's also very important as an early stage founder that go where the opportunity is. It's it's um, you cannot run a company, and we our intention initially was not to run it uh, like out of Bangladesh. I mean, Amra Bhav Silam, Jee, Okhante ke boshi technology business, Jee, Okhante ke kora jai. We were very optimistic about things, but that's not how it works. 
um so shekhane amra ekhane jodi ektu mane tiktok style e prothome expectation ebong reality bolte because i know a lot of friends mane my friends yeah. who are let's say in canada or the us yeah. ora okhane boshe bhabteche je technology business as you said can be run from anywhere ebo bangladesh e problem er obhab nai right there are lots of problems ebong yeah. solution maybe okhane theke banay ami ekhane chalate parbo so ei uh, ei mindset ta ki apnar chilo ebong what changed what <laughs> caused you to believe otherwise it okay. to jodi mane amader ke ubhay framing kore bolte parbo okay 100% 100% so that was the that was the expectation that acha thik ache amra technology business chalabo bhai eta to amra to je duniyar je kono jayate korte pari and amader client hobe bangladesh e ar amra just ekta operations team hire korbo and we'll coordinate with the operations team which we actually did we ran that company for one whole year from canada while we had clients and we had operations here and we had staff members here um tokhon dekhchi je that's fine kintu eta eta jibon e scale korbe na karon The thing about business is it's a it's when a business is like a completely like a people game. Your your customers and your and it's a very hard job by the way. Business is a very hard job. Anyone tells you otherwise, they're they're full of shit. Like basically, they're they're lying to you. And um, so and it's a very people game. It's a hard job. And your best friends are going to be your customers and your staff members, and they need to see your face at all times, and they need to ride the wave together. and once you believe in this i think and also i learned it the hard way um i think you can build a a really good company with good cultures and good morals because your customers end up loving you and and the thing about customers is that they need to see you you need to interface with them you need to really understand them because you're trying to create change for them and they will always value you apna ke onek value korbe only when you make sure that you show them that you care about their problems do you think this is more true for a logistics space company when a company in the logistics space because when the counter argument is like onek gula dhoren ami ko ekta saas use kori jate ke ami mane kokhono eta mone ekta high touch na you know it's not jibone dekhi nai jibone dekhi nai founder chini na whatever it's just mane oi je outcome ta amar hoy hoy jay ei jonno ami calendar app ta use kori ei app use kori etc etc so do you think mane this uh, depends what you're building blah blah it only depends after you scaled it enough then it but when you're starting out mm. your customers need you 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 need to really interface with the first 100 customers and they need to know you they need to know why you why you're doing this why you're solving their problem kemne solve korte si ha um so and it's always the, a two way street this is the do do things that don't scale advice which brian just ki shuru kore yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's airbnb i think it's paul graham yeah yeah paul yeah, graham yeah, yeah. who who suggested that and he wrote an article about it and i think uh Brian Chesky from Airbnb kind of really uh stuck to that advice yeah. and he also advised everyone uh for this specific gave everyone that you need to interface and you need to do things that don't scale because then you really do it really well okay so apna canada shuru korlen but then bangladesh e move korlen uh what was the journey with two freight what was the problem you were solving and uh what was the progress that you guys made So the problem we wanted to solve was information uh je logistics er information nai bhai mal ta kothay kibhabe ache to that's a that's a classic um information bottleneck information bottleneck you can solve with in the short run people people they are very well trained and they are very strong on operations and logistics in general it's a very operations heavy game in modde everything is operations there's very little to do with tech at first but once you begin standardizing kichu kichu information jemne garir size gula ami standardize kore nila tar pore customer er item gula kon kon customer ache food and beverage theke kichu customer cement theke steel theke kichu customer construction theke kichu customer ha garments theke kichu customer item gula tar packaging gula ami standardize kore nila acha this is where tech helps tar pore garir size gula tech helps route gula ki ki use korchi eta helps সো এখন যদি আমার কোনো একটা কাস্টমার যদি এরকম ইন্ডাস্ট্রি থেকে একটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ডাইজ ইন্ডাস্ট্রি থেকে একটা স্ট্যান্ডার্ডাইজ মাল অর্ডার দিল তখন আমি বুঝতে পারব যে এই অর্ডারটা কোন গাড়ির জন্য সুবিধা হবে আমাকে মার্কেটে যে দেখতে হবে না তারপরে হচ্ছে যে এই এই স্পেসিফিক গাড়ির জন্য রেটটা কীরকম আমাকে মার্কেটে যে দেখতে হবে না সো ওয়ান্স ইউ স্টার্ট বিল্ডিং মানে হিস্টোরিক্যাল ডেটা যখন চলে আসে তখন এটা স্কেল করতে খুব সুবিধা হয় সুবিধা করে আর কি সো দ্যাট ইজ ওয়ার দ্য টেকনোলজি কামস ইন বাট টেকনোলজি প্লেস সেকেন্ডারি রোল ইফ ইউর অপারেশন আর ভেরি ভেরি স্ট্রং গট ইট অ্যান্ড জাস্ট স্টার্ট আপ পার্সপেকটিভে হোয়াট ইট লুপ রিজ সো ফার ওর মানে বাই দ্য টাইম দ্যাট ইউ আর ইনভলভ অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ওয়াজ দ্য ট্র্যাকশন লাইক অ্যান্ড আমি 
আই এম শিওর যারা লুক ফ্রিক নিয়ে শুনেছে তারা মেবি জানে যে হ্যাঁ ট্রাক নিয়ে কাজ করে লজিস্টিক্স বললেন মেবি বড় বড় কোম্পানিদের সাথে কাজ করে বাট খুব সহজ ভাষায় হু আর ইউর ক্লায়েন্টস আর হোয়াট ইন ইউ সলভ ফর দ্য ইনফরমেশন এসেমেট্রি আই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড বাট লাইক একটা এক্সাম্পল দিয়ে যদি বলতেন জাস্ট সো উই আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড আচ্ছা সো ক্লায়েন্টস আর ক্লাসিক এন্টারপ্রাইজ কোম্পানিজ লার্জ ম্যানুফ্যাকচারার্স অর ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন কোম্পানিজ সো ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন কোম্পানিজ তাদের হচ্ছে যে মেইন চ্যালেঞ্জটা হচ্ছে যে আমার ঘুম থেকে উঠেই যখন আজকে আমি অপারেশনসে আসছি আমার এখন হচ্ছে যে মালপুর রয়েছে টু গো অ্যান্ড নাও নাইন ও ক্লক নাইন ও ক্লক থেকে আমার গাড়ি খোঁজা শুরু করতে হবে মার্কেটে ডিফারেন্ট ভেন্ডর্স আছে সবগুলোকে আমি কল করব আমার মালের সাইজগুলো দিব এটা ডেইলি কাজ আর কি মালের সাইজগুলো দিব তা তারপরে আমাকে ডিসাইড করতে তারা বলবে যে ভাই এই মালের জন্য আপনার এতগুলো গাড়ি লাগবে আর এই রেট সো এটা আমাকে অ্যাটলিস্ট পাঁচ ছ জনের সাথে করতেই হবে আর কি তারপরে তারা আমাকে একটা রেট দিবে আমার ইন্টারনালি বসাতে হবে আমাকে রেটটা প্রুভ করতে হবে তারপরে আই উইল আই উইল প্রোভাইড দ্যাম দ্য গুডস তখন মানে ইটস ইটস ডান অ্যান্ড দেন দে কাম দে পিক এর আপ অ্যান্ড দেন দে গো অ্যান্ড দে কনস্টেন্টলি গিভ ইউ আপডেটস রাইট সো দ্যাটস দ্য প্রবলেম স্টেটমেন্ট যে আমাকে এতগুলোর সাথে আমার আমার কথা বলতে হয় রেট নিয়ে সবসময় ঝামেলা করতে হয় এবং মানে একটা একটা টাইম টাইম থাকে ওই টাইমটা আমি আই কুড বি ডুইং সামথিং এলস so with technology what you're doing is you're able to reach out to multiple vendors karon sob gulo vendor kache ekta app ache so oi vendor kache jokhon reach out korlam sathe sathe oi vendor amar kono kotha na bolei it's like it's kind of like uberizing the industry yeah. ki ha yeah. so jokhon ami amar load ta diye dilam okhon theke bid gulo chole ashe ar ami bid gulo accept kore amar client confirm kore dilo ar ki yeah. ha and and as as a technology provider you take a cut in between that's it and ensuring that the yeah. that the goods are safe and you kind of you provide uh, insurance uh, and you provide some sort of a uh, white glove service je bhai apnake kono chinta korte hobe na apnake kono vendor er sathe kotha bolte hobe na amrai kore dichi pura jinish ta and amra kibhabe korchi and because then you don't have any difference between other vendors amra korchi karon amader technology diye amra kaaj ta ke ektu komay anchi ekhan theke amra efficiency ta ektu baralam ar ki so ei bhabei ar ki business model ta ar ki toiri hoy ar ki so we're going to now talk about newport and then uh, I want to talk about fundraising because mm-hmm. Aunike, I think you have advice to how you raise money for a logistics company in Bangladesh. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Tarage, what is Newport? Uh, well, you actually explain what is Newport, etc. etc. Uh, what stage is Newport at today? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? Whatever you can share publicly. How much is it? So it's been one and a half years now. And uh, Newport is again a software company. সো নিউপোর্ট কীভাবে আসলো এটা যদি আমি বলি দেন ইউল গেট মোর কন্ট্যাক্ট সো বেসিকলি বাই দ্য টাইম আই লেফট লুক দে ওয়াজ অ্যাবাউট আই থিঙ্ক হান্ড্রেড এন্টারপ্রাইজ কাস্টমার্স উইচ ওয়াজ আ সাইজেবল অ্যামাউন্ট অ্যান্ড দেন সিগনিফিকেন্ট পোর্শন অফ দ্যাম স্টার্টেড আস্কিং যে ফাইম আমাদের গাড়ি টাড়ি সব দিচ্ছি কিন্তু আমরা আমাদের অপারেশন আমাদের নিজেদের অপারেশন স্কেল করছে না কারণ আমাদের ইন ইন্টারনালি অনেক বটল নেক আছে আমাদের অর্ডার ভলিউম বেড়ে যাচ্ছে কিন্তু আমাদের ফ্যাক্টরি থেকে মাল বাড়াচ্ছে অনেক কম সো এটাকে তোমরা কিছুভাবে যদি হেল্প করতে পারো সে ওয়ান অফ দ্য ডিরেক্টরস অফ আ লার্জ শিপিং কোম্পানি হি অ্যাকচুয়ালি অ্যাকচুয়ালি লর অফ পিপল টোল মি ইন্টারনালি বাট ওয়েন ই টোল মি ইট রিয়েলি লাইক আই স্টার্ট থিঙ্ক মানে স্টার্ট কোর্ট বিকজ বিকজ ইট ওয়াজ আ ভেরি ম্যাসেভ কোম্পানি অ্যান্ড হি টোল মি দ্যার ফাইম তোমরা ডিজিটালি অনেক সোফিস্টিকেটেড বুঝলাম তোমাদের ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং টিম অনেক মানে ইয়ে লুক ওয়াজ অ্যাকচুয়ালি ওয়ান অফ দ্য ফার্স্ট কোম্পানিজ টু ইন্টিগ্রেট উইথ দ্যাট নেটওয়ার্ক হুইচ ওয়াজ হুইচ ওয়াজ আ বিগ মানে বিগ থিং ব্যাক দেন সো বললো যে আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে তোমরা ইন্টিগ্রেটও করে ফেলছো এই নেটওয়ার্কের সাথে ওয়াই ডোন্ট ইউ ফোকাস অন জাস্ট দ্য ব্যাক এন্ড সিস্টেমস বিকজ সবাই অপারেশনস করে কিন্তু অপারেশনস করে কয়েকদিন পরে স্কেল করতে পারে না আমাদের চাহিদা মতন কারণ আমাদের অপারেশন এত কমপ্লিকেটেড আমাদের অর্ডার ম্যানেজমেন্ট আছে আমাদের ওয়্যার হাউস আছে আমাদের এতগুলো গাড়ি আছে আমাদের জাহাজ আছে হাবি জাবি সব কিছু সো এগুলো নিয়ে যদি তুমি জাস্ট আর আমাদের ইআরপি সিস্টেম আছে যেগুলো হচ্ছে যে অনেক ট্রেডিশনাল ইআরপি এখান থেকে এই ডিপার্টমেন্টে কী হচ্ছে ওই ডিপার্টমেন্ট এখনও জানে না সো আলটিমেটলি এই ডিপার্টমেন্ট থেকে ওই ডিপার্টমেন্টকে আমাকে কাগজে কলমে বা ইন ইমেলে আমাকে পাঠাইতে হয় তারপরে তারা কাজ শুরু করে সো if you can build this it will really help us now and it will help all our customers as well in the next 5 years hmm. so it you will mane tumi jodi eta banate paro tale tumi onek boro ekta mane amader ekta problem solve korba ar ki so jokhon eta bollo then i started thinking i spoke with my co-founders i spoke with the board and and then eventually we realized that just a a system ta will be a completely separate system it will be a completely separate company hmm. because revenue channel ekdom like different hobe ekhane amra অপারেশনের জন্য লজিস্টিক্সের জন্য আমরা চার্জ করবো না আমরা চার্জ করবো সিস্টেমের জন্য হ্যাঁ ইটস আ ক
So, and then we essentially decided that the market is big enough, then it's better that we start. And again, because we were so involved with ports and, and logistics mm-hmm. and warehouses, we were like, okay, let's name something that's a little, little um, like along the lines of that. And that's why we called it Newport. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, and what's the progress so far? Okay. So, Perhaps. one and a half years, we just crossed uh, 200 companies right now. Uh, cumulatively, all our companies have done more than sixty million dollars in sales. That's uh, that was like that's something that we realized that agenista is something that we need eight billion. Man, era hi hotse je fifty fifty thousand businesses are 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 responsible to to generate eight billion dollars in sales annually. D two C brands. D two C brands. Yeah. And so far, these two hundred brands that we signed up, they have done about six sixty million dollars in sales. And uh, and that's the metric that we want to increase to eight billion. That's our basically our roadmap. Uh, Apna, how do you earn money? What's the revenue model? Our revenue model is very simple. So uh, for brands, depending on the size of the scale, they pay a monthly fee. Je jeta shuru hoy and it can go up to like fifty thousand, right. one lakh to two lakh, depending on the size of the business. So got it, it. Got it. Got it. And uh, these businesses are primarily. Um, are they internet businesses, like all, all sorts of businesses? So let's say a traditional, I don't know, uh, FMCG companies. What are the characteristics of some of your customers? Like, what do they sell? That's an interesting question. So, shuru hoy silo shabgula internet enabled business the. Right. Jeta adher ekta ekta website ache, adher ekta Facebook page ache. Kintu tokhon tara jokhon use kulo, adher nijer distributor gulo. Tara shob traditional chilo. Right. And tara ekhon amader system ta use korte. Yeah. And and that's how we realize that we are kind of seeing the early stages of a network network building up right network effect jeta ke bole so oi traditional business gulo ekhon hocche je tader back end gulo tara new port through te tara skill korar chesta korche interesting interesting so for new port what has fundraising been like so far koto uh, taka raise korechen kibhabe shuru holo jatra ta and uh, you know how do you go about, well how do you go about fundraising for SCC, but what is the progress so far so we started off with just a twenty thousand dollar investment from one of our angels one of our customers actually and uh, he was impressed with what we had done before is this the same customer J bullet silo J a problem does he solve put the parent that would be no no no, 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 no different no. customer. it's a different customer nice. so completely, he's an industrialist out of here he's a pretty famous guy nice. uh, but uh, and then after that uh, we raised our first first round uh, was from Flexport, uh, Flex, Flexport and Ondex Fund. And after that, we raised a few more, and till date, we raised a little over $600,000. Got it. And uh, fundraising wise, on a podcast, you can see the startup, the web check, etc. And uh, one question they have is if I have an idea, what is the first thing I should do? Is it go raise money? And uh, if I want to raise money, then how should I go about it? Okay, let me divide that in two segments. Mm-hmm. Mane idea mane ekhon hote je ami ki age chakri jibi chilam ar ekhon ami webshop shuru korchi ar is it even a technology business? Ar eta jodi khub traditional ekta business hoy, amar mone hoy it's and I'm going to give you very traditional advice. Mm. Like you should always think about profit in your very first venture. Mm. Karon, you're coming back coming from a steady supply of income mm. like and your life is sort of okay. And you're venturing into something really dangerous yeah, and something very risky. So, Tokhon, you should really know how to make money. Once you've done this a few times and burned through it, mm. at least you know you have some money. Yeah. And that's like the one segment. The other one is like, yeah, you have already decided that it's a very risky venture. It's a big opportunity and you have the team to actually solve this, at least a partner to solve yeah. this, right? Team to tohon hobe na, kintu ekta partner. Then you should actually think about raising money. Because at that point, uh, the risk is tremendous and you need someone to share that risk with. And the guys with really high risk appetites are usually VCs. And uh, and obviously, VCs also love big problems. And because obviously you're starting off with a big problem, there's a bit of a synergy there. So yeah, I think those are the two approaches that you should take and you should really take time to analyze which one you want to go. And uh, and again, I made all my mistakes, right? And I'm, I'm speaking from experience. As a fact, uh, before starting, what skills are needed as a founder? Uh, and also, if you could speak to Apner's skills personally, as well as Apner co-founder Chris's skills, how do you kind of you know divide and conquer 
uh, when you go about building the company. Okay. Um, whether you're uh, a salesperson or an engineer, I think you both must have very high tolerance to pain. And, okay. and that's, that's like a classic thing in business because you're setting yourself up to fail, basically. The, the probabilities of you succeeding are very slim. So I think the high, uh, and also it's, it comes with a, a bit of irrationality as well. Why should you even do it? Right? And you have to be, in a way, a little irrational to actually jump into something like this, which I think both of us were at that point in our time. We were like, you know what? We'd rather be irrational now than irrational when we we're 40. And, uh, and that kind of worked to our advantage to an extent, but we're also a work in progress, right? So I think those are the two questions. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then uh, are those the two broad buckets to think about, Tyler? Uh, whether you're an engineer slash, as I like to call it, a builder versus uh, someone who sells. Like Seller. Sales. Yeah. 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 So those are the two. Okay. Two. And those are the two heads that you really need, to be honest. Right. And right. a business. Right. If you have too many, and that's also a thing, if you have too many heads in the same kitchen, you're likely to, to have conflicts. And eventually you need to decide, and that should be enough. How do you resolve conflict among, uh, you know, let's say you and your co-founder? Clear communication. That's it. Straight from like, uh, you know, whether you're running a business or even as a husband, wife, it's, it's always the same thing. And, and t the reason I, I draw that parallel is because it is, it is marriage. It's, you're married to your partner in running this business. And, uh, and, and you're in it for the long haul. And you need to have clear communications and expectations. Sometimes it is, um, it is very obvious, but you still need to communicate that. Um, better. It's better that he communicates with you or she communicates with you and you communicate with them even on the most basic things. Yeah. Day to yeah. every day, every day. Yeah. Uh, this reminds me of something uh, my boss uh, said to me, which is uh, he, he was a Canadian, uh, mm -hmm. Canadian Indian, Pardeep Prewal. He was our COO at Patel. Um And he told me, it was on over communication and the importance of it he kept saying this which is repetition never sours the message and uh, always over communicate versus under like yep. you always want to be on the safe side rather yes than not. yes yes always. Uh, wow. and he used to emphasize this and hammer this home every time and i was like i think you're making a big deal out of this mm -hmm. but now like i, I actually get it uh, the, as the more uh, time goes by the more i understand yeah it makes sense yeah of course how do you go about it what do you actually uh, say to investors about Newport, mm -hmm. uh, how do you present the opportunity in the sense that Bangladesh is not known for B2B SaaS, mm -hmm. yeah, you, just to kind of, you know, mm -hmm. put it that way. How do you kind of present that case uh, to prospective investors? Um, so when it comes to fundraising, I think the two most important things that I did that worked and that I obviously learned over the years was... Um, don't knock the wrong guy. Huh. Um, segment kora uchit prathome jamar bapsha ta kon line yaache. Eta B two B yaache. Eta SaaS yaache. Aro kome ashlo. Huh. Mane tam tone kome ashlo arki. Ar ekhane theke kara kara eshob jogote invest kore chhe. Like if I if I try to reach out to say fintech, it's not gonna work for me. Hmm. If I reach out to real estate investors, it's not gonna work out for me. So ota amar kora uchilo and I kept it really short. Mane amra eight line ta korchi market opportunity at all. I what what mattered was I think that they saw the market opportunity rather than Bangladesh in general. Right? At least in my industry. In my industry the the market opportunity was tremendous. People didn't care whether it's in Bangladesh or India or whatever. There are certain you know there are certain details about Southeast Asia that really clicks and they, they understand that Southeast Asia was relatively um, slow to adopt technology as opposed to the Western countries. But after COVID, things really started uh, like changing. Mindsets change. Karon bapsha bade gese ki bapsha kya hon druto baranor podduti kusta hobe. Aro i podduti gulo tor invest korte hobe. COVID er pori e-commerce growth bade gese. Onik bade gese. Onik bade gese. So, kintu fulfillment structure ta infrastructure ta thahon hoy nayar ki. And bhai, apni ki from day one bolle chilen, ebang kach kore chilen je Bangladesh by Bangladesh er byre hole chhe India ebang onno deshe nijer bapsha ta ke expand korben. 
আমি শুরুতে বলেছিলাম হ্যাঁ শুরুতে অ্যান্ড উই অ্যাকচুয়ালি হ্যাড পিপল রিচিং আউট টু আস ফ্রম ইন্ডিয়া পাকিস্তান থাইল্যান্ড ইন্ডোনেশিয়া কিন্তু আমি আমি যেটা চিন্তা করছি আই ওয়াজ লাইক এইগুলো সব কিছু ঠিক আছে অ্যাজ লং অ্যাজ আফটার সেলস টিম লোকালি থাকুক ঠিক আছে Uh, I think people don't understand that and people don't value it enough, the value of after-sales service. After-sales service, um, why is it so important? What is it? Why is it so important? Achha, so, I am doing a lot of work. I am doing a lot of work details. I am doing a software company. Okay? I am doing a lot of work. 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 And not just Bangladesh. I think the whole of South Asia or Southeast Asia is like that. And so you need to have money, local offices, people speaking local languages to actually establish that trust. And, and then once that trust is apply, established, once that trust is apply, established, you are able to build a really big business. We don't have to do that in every place with the stage of the business we are in. So that's why we have to do that in every place where we have to do that in every place where we have to do because we are already growing 7% week over week. That's why our customers already they know us. So what we really need to do is stop focusing on growth, just focus on really serving them really well. That's why we convert automatically. That's why we have to do that in our network, that's why we have to use it. So I think that's what is really eventually really really important so uh, so that's great and uh, i'm sorry for cutting you off you were saying something along the lines of you showed them the opportunity and they understand the trend of southeast asia you know kind of picking up in e-commerce after the pandemic what else was important for fundraising or what worked some uh, changes in the dynamics say for example uh, you've been a part of for a very long time but Pathaute, I think I bugged you so many times to integrate with Pathau platforms and everything. Mm. And a, a, uh, the whole concept of API integration was not there in 2015, 2016. Mm. Mm. So, this is COVID-19. And most of the courier platforms in Bangladesh or in other countries, they started building, they putting a lot of engineers in building really robust APIs. Jate, যে কোনো একটা অর্ডার ম্যানেজমেন্ট সিস্টেম থেকে আমার কুরিয়ারের মধ্যে ইনফরমেশনটা পৌঁছে যাবে কাউকে টাইপ করতে হবে না টাইপ করা মানেই ঝামেলা টাইপ করা মানেই ভুল তাই না সো ওয়ান্স দিস ইনফ্রাস্ট্রাকচার ওয়াজ দ্যান দিস ওনলি হ্যাপেন আফটার কোভিড অ্যান্ড আই অলসো বাগড লাইক আর ইঞ্জিনিয়ার্স বাগড আ লর অফ পিপল ফ্রম আদার কুরিয়ার কোম্পানিজ এজ ওয়েল দ্যাট ভাই প্লিজ এপিআইটা বানাই দিয়ে আমাদের ইনফরমেশনটা দেন আমরা হচ্ছে ইন্ডিকেট কারণ আমাদের ক্লায়েন্ট এখন চাচ্ছে সো এই ডাইনামিক শিফটটা ওয়াজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু কনভে টু দ্য ইনভেস্টার্স So, when we invest, when we convey that, they realize that there is a, strict, like, there is a shift in, in mindset happening and it is the right opportunity right now. And that's how the investment kind of flow. Great. And that's like, um, investor is a crucial question, which is why now? Mm. Why now is a solid answer, hey, this infrastructure yeah. and this dynamic is now changing, yeah, yeah. Uh, giving rise to new opportunities. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, uh, I want to bring this home. Uh, what else should we cover or is there anything else you'd like to talk about? I think uh, talking about the narrative of Bangladesh is very important and the changing mindset of Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. um, I think in terms of numbers, there's, there's about people should realize that all the four utility softwares that I talked about, accounting, supply chain, um, HR, and then I forget the fourth one, oh, call yeah. center, yeah. call center, right? there's massive opportunities in these areas. Say, say for example, there's 50,000 businesses just in my own domain, right? There's, uh, there's about 95,000 importers and exporters, um, and, and that's a big field to digitize and automate and at least connect, right? Retailers, Share char million retailers Bangladesh. Mm. Like that's a, that's a big number. So I think we need to change the narrative in terms of showing the opportunity in terms of numbers. But now the numbers are available on public domains. And I think it's very important that we show those numbers and we show what we're doing to achieve that kind of scale in Bangladesh. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, we're going to link all the social handles that you have and the TikTok uh, is something I follow and I'm sure uh, our audience would love to follow. Thank you for making the time. Thank it you. was a pleasure. Thank and, you. Uh, Looking forward to a round two somewhere down the line. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Awesome.